Okay, so let's look at forces and circular motion. Thus far we've looked at velocities, delta V, and average acceleration, instantaneous acceleration. And we saw that the uh, centripetal acceleration of an object points towards the center of the circle. But what does that tell us? That means, that tells us, that the vector sum of all the forces acting on that object must be directed towards the center of the circle. Because acceleration is due to a force, and both the force and acceleration are in the same direction, so if the acceleration is towards the center of the circle, the vector sum of forces, the force or the vector sum of forces, must also be pointing towards the center of that circle. So an object that executes circular motion at constant speed is subject to a force or vector sum of forces of constant magnitude directed towards the center of the circular trajectory. So this is the interesting thing is that as you're going around a, uh, in a circular way, circular path, there's only, there's only one force. There's a force acting on you, accelerating you towards the center of the circle. But now, you may argue and say, but if I'm in a car and I'm going around a bend, it feels like there's a force throwing me out. It feels like there's a, a force pushing me out towards the side. As you go around the bend, you wanna, it feels like there's something pushing you out. Well, that's not a force. That is your in, the inertia of your body. You... As the car is going around a bend, let's have a look at, at a picture. As the car is going around the bend, you want to keep moving in a tangential uh, direction. Okay, so as this guy is going around a bend, at this point, you want to keep moving in that direction. At this point, you want to keep moving in that direction. At every point, you want to be moving you, you want to keep your velocity, direction of your velocity, because of inertia. However, um, you feel like you want to move out because the car is accelerating you towards the center the entire time. Okay? So please take note. When you're, when you're moving in a, in a circular fashion, the only force exerted on you is um, directed towards the center of the circle. Okay? So your reference frame that you're in the car, the reference frame in the car is non inertial. Okay? So avoid analyzing forces from a rotating frame of reference because such a frame is accelerating and therefore non inertial. Now, what are these forces? So as you're going around a bend, um, what, what kinds of forces can cause you to accelerate towards the center? They can be both a push and a pull, or a combination of both. For example, uh, in figure 11 2B, I don't have it here, you have a puck, which is pulled inward by the string. Okay? So the string is applying a tension. I think, where is it? Let's see, is it down here? Okay, it's not here, but imagine this is a puck. And that's a string. And so the string in this specific case, the string, is applying a force towards the center. And in this case, um, it is a contact force of the car on the, on the driver that's applying this force that points towards the center. Okay? All right, see you in the next one.